Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragorn. So I'd like to quickly go over whether or not this Fae Star set with this Sparkling Fae Emblem is better than Heart's Twine with your Demogorgon's Reach and the Sinuous Cord. This new artifact set you get from the new reworked Demogorgon Trial. Now, they are very similar, and this is the reason why. The Demogorgon's Reach, when we look at its bonus, you can see you can gain up to 5 stacks, which will give you 5% total damage. Now, it does also have the additional benefit that whenever you deal 5 critical hits in a row, you will deal 150 magnitude damage. This is harder to proc off than you might think, and also, this 150 magnitude is not actually what you think it is supposed to be. Now this star choker, this twinkling of the stars, and also the sparkling fey emblem, when you put it together you gain trickster's gift and you can gain up to 10% additional damage. You might be straight up thinking this would be then better. Unfortunately it's not since you can only gain this 10% damage bonus when the difference between your target and you is 100%. You would have to be on full HP and your target on 0 HP and then you'll gain this 10% damage bonus or vice versa of course. Now if your target's on 90% HP and you're on full HP that's only a 1% damage bonus. So if we look at a long long boss fight, let's say Tower of the Mad Major Zario, where your boss's bar is consistently going to go down. Let's ignore the fact that their HP bar goes back to full when they actually phase, so you're never actually going to kill them, so you'll never gain the 10% damage bonus. But if we take that into consideration, then at the beginning of the fight you're going to have 0 damage from Trickter's Gift, and at the end of the fight you're going to have 10%. So if we completely half that, that's a 5% damage bonus on average from this Trickster's Gift set. Now, if you want to go to the Demogorgon's Wrath set, you can see that we can gain these stacks and it will stack us up, giving us 5% extra damage bonus. Now, of course, it will depend how quickly we can obtain these stacks. And let's just check out here on a dummy, just using this at will here. You can see I'm going to have to hit every time to gain one of those stacks even though it was an AoE at will and I could hit multiple targets. So let's try that again, just using my Shrooken Toss here. You can see all of those stacks going up there. And then after that about five casts of my at will, I have those five stacks. Now, if you were to go and use this with an AoE, let's say I have my encounter powers here. Let's wait for these stacks to drop off. Let's go and use this Blade Fury from Stealth. There we go, we have one stack, use it again. Apparently we have four stacks now. So you can see that there are definitely other things that will proc this off rather than just those powers alone. You can see when you look at the tooltip, only at wills encounters and dailies are supposed to proc this. But you can see there, we gained like four stacks from one encounter power. So it's a little bit bugged there. Two stacks again from another encounter power, just one there, none from that encounter power and we gain none from that one either. So it's a little bit buggy, but still you can get this damage bonus off very quickly in a fight, even in AOE. And in AOE, the Trickster's Gift set, you barely gonna notice the difference anyway, especially when you're killing enemies so quickly, because let's say you use an encounter power when they're at 50% HP, you've gained that 5% damage bonus, but then you've just killed them. So you're never going to obtain any better than let's say 5%. Of course, if your mobs take like a lot longer to kill and you're hitting them while they're at 20% HP and 10% HP, then you would gain that 8% damage bonus and 9% damage bonus respectively. And thus the Trickster's Gift could be a little bit better when you have longer drawn out fights. But let's take into consideration that this Demogorgon's Wrath set has much higher item levels. You can see the neck and the waist have 1,300 compared to just 980 from the star set. And the artifact itself, you can see, gives a 1,000 item level. If we were to go and upgrade the Sparkling Fae Emblem to Mythic, as we have with this Book of Vile Darkness, you can see it would give 450 item level. So if we do some quick math, open our Excel sheet here, you can see that the difference if we're at about 60,000 item level would be only just over 1% there.
as you can see, we'll just switch those and stick it in the positive. A 1% difference in damage, you already would have to have difference between you and your target of 60% HP to gain the equal benefit from this Trickster Skift set. As we've seen there, the damage bonus is very little. And if you were to go run some dungeons and so on, still the maximum you can obtain from this Demogorgon Ratha is a 5% damage bonus plus about 1% additional damage from that last benefit. Whenever you deal five critical hit attacks, you'll deal up to 150 magnitude. Now you can see this act log right here and you can see this is our Demogorgon's Wrath hits. And you can see that our maximum hit was 4,367 and compare that to the Lost Math Vengeance yeah, they deal exactly the same amount of damage. It's a little bit ridiculous, but you can see that the average hit for the Demogorgon's Wrath is its maximum hit, meaning you can see that that's how much damage it will deal compared to Lost Mass Vengeance somehow or other actually being able to be deflected. So the Demogorgon's Wrath can be deflected, but it seems a lot less. Not sure on those results exactly, we'd have to go and test again, but that would be using the Storyteller books, giving this Lost Mouth Vengeance. And we got 109 hits there from Demogorgon's Wrath, but we got over 200 hits from the Lost Mouth Vengeance, because Demogorgon's Wrath will require you to do five critical hits in a row. If you have like a really fast at will attack power like we had with our duelist flurry on our single target assassin, we can gain those critical hits very quickly. Taking in all that into consideration, we can definitely see that the Demogorgon's Wrath artifact set is what you want to be going for if you don't already have one of these sets. Now, of course, those of you who are on your Ranger, you absolutely want to be having this music box set composing of those three pieces there with the music box artifact. The reason being is because whenever you cast the daily power, you gain up to 15% more damage. Of course, you will have to be having combat advantage against those enemies. It's still very easy to obtain, especially in single target for a ranger where they can cast a daily power and it will only cost them a quarter of their action points. So they can spam those daily powers very quickly. So that wraps it up. You can see the difference between the two sets is very minimal. They both give on average 5% damage bonus, but the Demogorgon's Wrath has that lead on item level by another 1% additional damage and also the benefit of giving that Demogorgon's Wrath effect like your Lost Mass Vengeance. But again, it's only going to give one, maybe maximum of 2% additional damage bonus, but still the Demogorgon's Wrath set going to give their 3% on average damage bonus over the Trickster's Gift set. So keep that in mind. If 3% damage is worth buying this whole new set or even going grinding it out then absolutely switch otherwise you can either just stick with your face star set it's still pretty decent i wouldn't worry about it again a three percent damage difference so i'd like to give a massive thank you to all of my channel members for helping me keep my channel going and if i present this work consider leaving the video a like and if you're new around here consider subscribing see you guys around goodbye for now